right, we are on adding integers again, except this time we are following the rules. Before we can go into adding integers, I just want to review absolute value with you guys because I know we covered it earlier, but you might have forgotten it. It's um, the number without a sign. It's a distance from zero, okay? So ex example again, this is five. It's not negative five. It doesn't mean the opposite, and this is five as well, but it's just the number without a sign. Um, you have to remember that absolute value is the number without a sign. You can do that then you'll be okay because we're going to use this actually in one of the rules for adding integers and I want to make sure that you get it. Okay, now on to the rules. For adding integers there are two rules. Now you, I put up here that it's uh, we're not going to use the number line because it's impractical so you don't need to write that, that's just telling you that. The first rule, if the signs are the same, add the numbers and keep the sign. Very simple. So in other words, here I have a negative and a negative. They're both negative, so I'm going to add the numbers. 5 plus 3 is 8, and I'm going to keep the sign. I have the number line here just as proof. That's just to show you that this actually works. So here I'm at a negative 5. That tells me where to start. And then I'm going to add, oh, there's a negative that tells me go the opposite direction. So instead of the right 3, I go to the left 3. 1, 2, 3, Oh, would you look at that? Exactly what we thought it should be. Okay? Now, the next rule is if the signs are different. So rule two, if the signs are different, subtract the absolute values. Oh, there's that term that we covered at the beginning, right? You knew we needed it for something, and this is why. Subtract the absolute values and keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. Whew, that's a mouthful. All right, so I have a negative five and a positive 6. The signs are different, so I'm going to ignore the signs for now. I have a 6 and a 5. What's the difference of 6 and 5? Well, 6 minus 5 is 1. Okay, what is a bigger number? Is 6 a bigger number or is 5 a bigger number? 6 is, 6 is positive, so my answer is positive. It has the greater absolute value. Now your proof. I'll use your number line once again. Go down here to negative 5. Addition says move to the right. How far? Six places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Look at that. Positive 1 is the answer. Pretty cool, eh? All right. That's um, exactly what I want you to do, but without the number lines. The number line was just to prove to you that it works. So here I have some samples. I want you to pause the video and try these samples. Pause the video now. Pause it. Pause. Okay, first one, I have signs are different. I have negative 11 plus 6, so I subtract the numbers. I get 5. Keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. That would be this, because an 11 is bigger than 6. It's a negative, so my answer is negative. Next one, the signs are the same, so I add the numbers, keep the sign. The next one, 10 plus a negative 5. The signs are different. Subtract the numbers. Keep the sign of the number with the greater absolute value, which would be this positive 10. So my answer is a positive 5. This one's really simple. This is just negative 12. Okay, I don't actually need to add or subtract anything. Next one, signs are the same. Add the numbers. Keep the sign. And then the last one, the signs are different. So I subtract the numbers. Keep the sign of the number the greater absolute value, which is that negative. So it's a negative 70. Not too bad, right? Cool. Adios, amigos.